Hi, I'm Dr. Kaplan from Helios Telemedicine for Men. And today's topic is the complications and side effects of testosterone replacement therapy. So you've been diagnosed with symptomatic testosterone deficiency and you've tried the conservative therapy without success. So what's next? Testosterone replacement therapy. And you think you should feel years younger than you did prior to therapy. Even feeling your own chronological age is a win, but all victories come with a price. The first thing to know is that testosterone therapy suppresses the hypothalamic pituitary testis axis, and it might not recover even if we stop testosterone therapy. So the long-term testosterone levels in the blood may be lower after therapy than it was even before therapy. With the axis suppressed, the stimulation by LH and FSH of the testes goes down. And when that occurs, some of the functions go dormant. In some men, this will result in shrinkage of the testes by as much as 30 to 50%. While I've heard some police officers just call them smaller targets, and I've heard some cyclists say they're just harder to land on when going over a bump, this can be a big deal to some men. The shrinkage may be reduced by administering a hormone called human chorionic gonadotropin. HCG is made by the placentas of pregnant women and supports the uterine environment during pregnancy. If it is injected in men, it mimics the effect of LH and FSH and may reduce or stop the shrinkage altogether. The second effect of the reduced stimulation of the testes is the possibility of lowering the sperm count and the quality of the sperm to the point of infertility. We can try to reduce this by giving HCG in doses that are larger or more frequent than we use for testicular shrinkage. Note that this is not a good method of birth control as it is unpredictable and, if, and ineffective for most men. Testosterone is metabolized in the liver. So like many other medications, alcohol, recreational drugs, or ingested toxins, if testosterone is given in too high a dose, or if there is already some liver dysfunction, testosterone may cause worsening of the liver function. If we see the liver function tests rising, we may have to reduce the testosterone dosage or stop it altogether. Testosterone stimulates the bone marrow where the blood is made, resulting in overproduction of red blood cells. When this happens, your hematocrit, the percentage of your blood that is cellular rises and the blood becomes more viscous. When this occurs, it flows through smaller blood vessels more slowly and increases the risk for blood clots, which can travel to the lungs as pulmonary emboli and cause chest pain and shortness of breath, which may be life-threatening. It may also increase the risk for slow flow strokes in the brain. Testosterone can stimulate prostate tissue to grow faster and cause problems peeing. If this occurs, you may need medications or even prostate resection. It has not been shown to cause prostate cancer, but there is some concern that prostate replacement therapy may cause prostate cancers that are already present to grow faster or spread more quickly. Finally, as we raise the testosterone levels in the body, there is more available to the aromatase enzymes in the fat cells, resulting in increased conversion to estradiol. But we've already talked about estradiol with its complications and side effects in prior videos. So please check this out on our website if you're concerned. Next week, we'll talk about how we can try to preserve the fertility in men who are on testosterone replacement therapy. In the meantime, you can visit our website at heliostelemedicine.com where you can check out our prior videos and blog posts, take our complimentary self-assessment questionnaire, or make an appointment to see me. You can follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram at Helios Telemedicine for Men. Thank you for your time and attention. Bye for now.